Folks, this is segment five or part five of the Versatile Hunting Dog with Jason Carter. In this segment, we're gonna maximize the pointing potential in your dog. From puppies to senior dogs, it's all about the point. Learn tips for developing the point. I wanna thank everyone who's watched this entire series. And again, I wanna thank Jason Carter and Blaine and Patty at Merry Meeting Kennels. They're at the top of their game. Thanks very much for watching. What I'd like to do is talk a little bit about woe. Woe is a communication skill we have with our dogs. And what, what that is, is when the dog goes on point, we ask our dog to woe. Um, the pointing part of it, they do naturally. We have no part of that. But to hold the point, our woe is very important. So when we're teaching woe, we start at a very young age. Another important fact about woes is innately we put our dogs in harm's way. It could be roads, cats, porcupines, um, animal traps. There's all kinds of things out there that can hurt our dogs. So we need the woe. And not only do we need a woe, we need a strong woe, which means don't move your feet. So early on, when they're very young, we use this training table and we start the woe process. Then we take it to the ground. And the true test is when we get on birds. And that's what we're gonna demonstrate right now for you. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete, and brought to you in part by RST, manufacturers of short chamber, low pressure shot shells. Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. Pete Shoe Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, take on the nuisance of foot odor. Wooden Stream, outdoor footwear, outfitting adventures since 1957. Visit woodenstream.com for a dealer near you. Canine Active, providing safe, non-toxic pain relief for your dog. Okay, we're gonna take Gnarly here and introduce her to the birds. I don't believe Patty's had a whole lot of bird contacts with mm, your pup. No, no, not a whole lot. She's, she's fairly new at this. She's chased live checker in the pen. She goes in there and has no fear of the birds, so, um, we're going to put a bird in the bushes, in the, in the leaves, and see what she does when she gets sent. So when she gets sent, I want you to work her. I want you to get on the lead, allow your dog in, and, but don't let, allow her to take the bird out. We're looking for, in pointing dogs, we're looking for that pause before the pounce. It's kind of like a cat. If you ever watch a cat track down a mouse, right before it catches it, it pauses. And these guys have that instinct. So that's what we're looking for, is the pause before the pounce. And in puppies, that's a hiccup. It is momentary. So let's really work on that. You, and see I if mean, we can get that pause. My indicator is that tail. As soon as it stops and, and locks in, that I it's know. It's just a moment. So, and it's just a moment. It's so when a, you see that happen, I want you to go in, praise her, and go away. Okay. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Where is it? Where is it? Good girl. Good girl. Come here. Naughty. Naughty. Oh, there it is. Oh. Whoa. Good girl. Good job, Naughty. Hey, bring her in again. Yep. Bring her in again. Okay. So. Oh, that's great. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul almost got the bird in the hat. <laughs> Find it, Patty. Okay, Find Patty's it. bringing in Gnarly right now. She's going to keep her hand on the long lead to make sure she has control at all times. The puppy's going to come on in. The wind is blowing into the puppy's face. So if you watch the puppy come around this corner here, you're going to see a little acknowledgement, a little head cast. Okay, she's starting to make scent. Where'd it go, Gnarly? Where'd it go? What we're going to look for is just that momentary pause before the pounce. Naughty. You gotta be quick and she's gonna Come on, try to get the puppy Where is it? to the indicate bird. on the bird just Find before she bird. picks it up. Find and it. with lots of praise. Okay. Naughty. Found some scent. Oh, she found the bird. Okay, let's see how the There it is. There's your point. Go in. Go in. Staunch her. Whoa. Whoa, start that communication early. Whoa, oh. Good girl. Good girl. A little Marie. too long, right? Just a moment too long. But that was awesome. <laughs> Very nice. Better. Jason's going to start in. 
Good up, hopefully bro. get him on the Good. downwind side of this bird. And we'll see what she does. Well, hopefully we'll see her point. She's allowing her Come around. The wind. The dog stuck that point really nice. Really high. Whoa. Now you can see a little bit of the cooperation, the dog willingness in the head Whoa. to hold. And this is really the important part of pointing is that Whoa. ability to elongate it, willingness Whoa. to hold. And this Whoa. is where that wool come in. He's going wool. Now he's going to walk out. really starting to anticipate a little bit. See your foot. Whoa. Whoa. He may show her the bird now. Whoa. Now we're entering into steady to wing. Whoa. Whoa. Tremendous. Now that woke Whoa. man is holding that Whoa. Down, see? Him and his Whoa. body English and the wall. Good girl. Ah. Whoa. Good girl. Whoa. Whoa. Right on the edge of going. Whoa. Jason, I go back and Whoa. Read. Whoa. Readdress ah. her. Whoa. Whoa. Very good. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Nice work. Whoa. <clears throat> Whoa. Good girl. Oh, you're a good girl. Yes, you are a good girl. Yeah. And with the young dog, we'll good girl. Him and we move them off. And we probably would take them into another bird and try to get the same thing okay. to happen again. So this, this was a nice, nice, nice piece of uh, where woe is connected Whoa. to the bird. Nice piece where <clears throat> we use a, a command or a tone or a voice that's telling the dog something that's really stay and hold that bird, you know. And, and, and it, you couldn't hear, you may have, a, but if you could have heard Jason, he's going, whoa, good dog, whoa. It's very subtle, very quiet, very soothing for the dog. You know? Very nice, nice, nice job. It would be a good one. This would be a good one. This is going to be out of sight. This is a great way to see a good back. See what the dog, when he's looking at, when, when he makes contact. We're going to, this one's sneaking in a little bit, trying to get more scent. All right. Good That's girl. better. Okay, Jason. Did he hear me? This is going to be a good shot, right between them. Whoa. So I'm going to move her back just a little bit to allow her to honor this point and not interfere. Whoa. 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 You're going to flush it? Whoa. Let's see if we can flush it right between them. No, I'm going to change my angle. Whoa. Not a safe shot. Yep, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Not a safe shot. Actually, that was a pretty good scenario. The dog come in. That was a very difficult back. But because of the, uh, the situation and the way the, <laughs> the way the bird flew between the cameras, I just said it wasn't a safe shot. So 
We didn't do it, but we'll set this up one more time and see if we can get this to happen. That was a beautiful bass. Yep, you ready? Well, Jared, uh, there's a couple of things I think Doug did well. He really did. I mean, it's early in the spring, and he's a little rusty. But I th a couple of things he did was, is you were anticipating his breaking, and you commanded him to go. Mm -hmm. I'd have made him wait. Okay. I'd, I would have gave him a woe command, come to him, stood beside him, and made him stand there, just to elongate that patience. Once he made the retrieve, he did a great job of finding the bird, picked it up, just as he came across that bridge, I would have gave him the come before he set it down because you saw it coming. Yeah, I did. And, and you missed your timing on that. So I would have gave him a come at that point, and then I would I would wait for him. And if he was to do it again, then I would have, I might have changed my octave a little bit, but I would have gave it a second time, right? And then if it happened again, then we'd have to go out and, and correct it. But if you'd have been a quicker with your timing, you would have, you would have, there wouldn't have been a drop. Okay. Okay. But other than that, his delivery, a little bit on the set, you need to do a little more recall probably, and we could correct that as well. But other than that, he's pretty clean. I mean, it, it's just a, just a few minor things. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, and brought to you in part by RST Shot Shells, Mud River Dog Products, Peach Shoe Dryer, Wooden Stream Outdoor Footwear, and Canine Active.